to share this. Mama's over there uh, nibbling and munching. She was over there, but then she got her line got stuck on the tree. She tried to choke herself, so good thing I'm out here. Anyway, she left me babysitting. Angel. Hi, Angel. Yeah. Did you got an itchies? Yeah, funny. If I scratch, if I scratch here, <laughs> her little lip. See that? Her little lip goes up. <laughs> Look at that. Look at you. If I scratch right here. This is, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> she got a little. You getting hot? I think you're getting hot. Okay. Mama, it's time to go in. Take you in the shade. Baby's getting hot. Isn't that right, Angel? Isn't that right, Angel? Yeah? You getting hot? Okay. Come on. make this a short video this is faith there's caramel her mama from last year and that is angel as you all know faith's daughter and that's a little girl caramel had and that's the little boy now this is why i don't have them out with the regular herds because the babies are still <laughs> fragile at this point easily squished stomped whatever you want to call it anyhow brought them out from good old vitamin d and this is caramel i don't know how you tell me <laughs> once the babies get the classroom off that i'll be milking that you betcha anyway come on little boy what are you doing Mamas know their babies. And sometimes when they get stressed and they think another baby is trying to get them, they will headbutt or kick them off like that. I'm telling you, girl. All right, Tata from Kentucky. Okay, we're going to take a walk back here and see how much they got eaten down in the new area. Say, okay. isn't that right, June Bug? Gabby and Echo and Blue, the male. Where's Pi? I don't see Pi, but I see Una. Hmm. Pi be missing. Alright. We're gonna go back here and check out the ghost. Let me say hi. <laughs> Come on. Sorry, fighting a cold. Yeah. Allergies, cold. Either or. Hmm, I'm not seeing them. Where are they at? Oh, please don't tell me. They got out. Did they get out? Don't see them anywhere else. So I'm trying to walk. <clears throat> now, a lot of this underbrush. Oh, they're up there. Oh. They went past the area that I had done up. But, and it's all up. It just got done raining, so. Uh, they're taking out that briar patch. You can actually now see the pasture field from here back there. This is what goes through. They clear pretty much all the lower stuff. A lot of vines. See, and what they'll do is they'll eat that. They'll eat the, uh, <clears throat> the bottom part of the vine. And then the upper part will eventually die off. But they're up there. I'm just going to take them out and about for a lunch and munch. Because uh, Miss Faith is... Um, her baby's still not big enough to go in with the crowd. They're back there. Yep. <laughs> they don't know I'm here. So they got all <clears throat> a lot of that down there too. See, they've cleared all this. Do you actually can see all the rows there and all that? I don't think. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Nope. 
take out the small shrubs and all that stuff. Still got the shade. You still got the shade trees. They haven't touched those. Generally, they'll go for the saplings first. More tender and juicy, in my opinion. Okay, so I'm gonna go back down here and uh, put Faith and Angel out for a little bit of munch and lunch. Mm. The milk and her have been providing me with the uh, baby's only sucking on one side, so I milk off the other side. It's no biggie. I like it. <laughs> I like my goat's milk. <coughs> anyway, <coughs> Tata from Kentucky. You all take care. Love y'all. Bye. Okay, the hello from Kentucky. Not entirely happy with me. <laughs> because right now, I put them in that area there because I want them to clear up all the uh, grassy weeds and such. And then, uh, see I have two. I only have two of those. They're 164 feet each. And though it sounds like a lot, this is kind of what it does. So there's the goat house. And then it comes out. So I got them cleaning up right now around the equipment. Last year when we got here, you didn't even know there was equipment there. So they've done you. I'm going to ask a question here. If y'all can tell where my goats have been and where they've been not. Not been. Been? Yeah. Not. <laughs> okay. So I had the fence running up along here. So I think y'all can see it. Some areas it's a bit more pronounced than in others. What was that? Oh, yeah. Okay, that was a rose bush. And there's still some left. But as they eat down an area, they get bored and they want to move. Ergo, you have to have fencing that will hold water because otherwise it won't hold the goat. So there's a whole bunch of um, <clears throat> rose things and there's still some. And those will come back because they didn't eat it down to the nubs. Um, and some invasives, you have to run goats through them a couple times. Now, see, I put this this up lower because they were just walking right underneath that and going wherever they wanted to go. So, but then they figured out I only had enough to go halfway down this fence line. But uh, last year, you couldn't even see the brush was so, so thick back there. Oh, that tree broke. My goats didn't do it. Sorry. They can do a lot of things, but they didn't break that tree. <laughs> so, just to give you an idea of what they've done. And what they've not done. So, it does make a difference. You know, they've got all the lower... Goat just got shocked. <laughs> I gotta pick up my poles. I left up here. Yeah, they're not entirely happy with the new area. Uh, but I want them to get it cleaned up before I expand it out a different way. Like I said, you can only do so much with, uh, what is that? Somebody do math for me. Mm, oh, the fly just tried to buy in my mouth. It's eight, two, three hundred and twenty-eight feet of fence. Yeah, that's not even an acre. Yeah, but you see, you can see where it was. Um, what is that? Blackberry. Yeah, blackberry and multi-floral rose in there. Now you can actually see underneath there. Goats and no goats. So, uh, they do make a difference. Uh, doing it this way, in some ways, is easier 
than putting in permanent fence. And in some ways, it's harder. So, because you have to move it, you know. I mean, it took them four days to clear all the lower blur, blah, 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 brush in that area. And then they moved on. And then they figured out how to get out. So, <clears throat> I'm having them clean up all the stuff in and around this equipment. And then I will move the fence this way. I won't quite be able to go back into that wooded section. They will be happy in there. But it's uh, <clears throat> the fence that uh, she has for her horses on that side is not goat proof. So Anyway, I got to go let the mamas out so they can have a little bit of grazing. They're a little bit too young right now. Oh, I gotta fix that fence right there. My fence is slowly dying. I've had it for like three, going on four years. And it has been snagged and uh, somebody's weed eater took out a chunk of it. So, anyway, Tata from Kentucky. <laughs> Love y'all. PT, are you mad at me? Huh? Are you mad at me? You're saying, this is not what I eat. I am not a cow. Well, no, you're not. You're a goat. But get over it. Get busy. And then I'll, I'll probably end up having to move this tomorrow. It won't take them very long to uh, clear down some of this. All right. Ta-ta from Kentucky. Love y'all.